we've really enjoyed this whole week of building the truck. It's given us an idea to actually see what our render has looked like on paper, now on metal. Tombo's gonna be here. He's gonna see the truck for the first time. It's, can't wait to see his reaction. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm scared, you got me nervous, man. Let's go see it. All right, man. Holy crap. Holy crap. Mm. Dude, you freaking nailed it, man. You guys are awesome. If you see my truck coming down the road, hide your deer, your exotics, white tails, elk, I don't care what it is. Get them to a safe place because I'm going off-road, on-road. I might end up in your backyard. I'm coming for you. Not for you, for your deer. All right, fellas, we're on uh, day four. Looks like we finished yesterday pretty good when we left on discussions of what we had on the vehicles. Um, I think our plan is to uh, get where y'all are staying at for the day, then uh, get back in here in the morning, tidy up everything, take them for a good test drive, make sure everything drives good, and uh, get these trucks detailed so we can deliver them back to Luke and Tombo and they can enjoy their buck truck. Let's make it happen. Sounds good. Yep. Well, I'll just stay in here and do paperwork, guys. It's okay. So this week we had the great opportunity um, to start building the buck trucks. And the two people that we started building for was Tombo Martin Daggum. and Luke Bryan, which has been really exciting. Some of the important things you need as a hunter in a vehicle, you need ground clearance, you need traction, it gets dark, you need lots of lights. If you do get stuck, you got a winch, pull yourself right out, nobody even know the difference. I mean, it's one thing to tear up rental cars, this, this ain't a rental. This is my grocery getter. Trying to get these wires all hooked up so I can throw this bumper on there. I wish I still had my mullet. I do too. You show a picture of it? I have not. I'm surprised you show everybody pictures of it. Rich, you've had the same haircut your entire life. Well, Tyler's a special breed. He likes to prove that he is from the valley. And one way that he does that is with his number three, 1984 Chevrolet S10. Got a 4.3. It's a sloppy mechanic's dream, that's for sure. Got a uh, number three painted on the door here. I wasn't there, but I speculate that Tyler might have had a real long night when he uh, when he decided to paint the number three on the side. But he is a big Dale Earnhardt fan. Adds about 45 horsepower or so, yeah. Jason, we're probably gonna need another set of hands on this thing. Oh yeah. Ain't no joke. I'll take over for you, Tyler, so you can put the bolts in. What you need me to do, Tyler? Oh, yeah, just don't drop it on me. <laughs> Waylon, I need your help right here. There you go. That's what we needed. Man. I know eight, I didn't know eight-year-olds were so strong. All right. I think we're good. Appreciate it. All right. You good, Tyler? Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Yep. Good job. I think I kind of sprained my wrist a little bit dragging that thing off the table. What I'm doing here with the uh, paint pen is marking all the nuts and bolts that I torque or tighten down. One, it shows that it's been tightened or torqued, or two, 
if I was to get called away or if I had to go do something else, it reminds me of what, where I'm at, kind of what I've already tightened and what still needs to be tightened. So we're looking good. We just got through installing the bumper and uh, wiring up the winch, getting ready to finish wiring up the fog lights and the, and the center light bar and wrap up the front. And we'll move, move into the rear so we can put the rear bumper on. Come along well. Blue. 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 Red. Orange. White. That's it. All the colors. Not that we're spotlighting deer or nothing. But Cause that deer is frowned upon if, in certain states. If we just so happen to be rigid, really does own the night, don't they? <laughs> Where's your rigid hat for that one? Yeah, I know. By breaking these just a little bit loose before taking apart the other side is it allows the axle to uh, relax instead of being real tight and tense over here, not allowing it to drop. Uh, prevents me from having to fight it, try to bring it down. Another good aspect of this, this style of block, they offer it with the, uh, basically the extra U-bolts to help clamp it down in place again. More, uh, more rigidity, more reliability, keep it, keep it from shifting. Just gives it that extra strength. One more way that uh, the Superlift brand has you covered with all your uh, lift kit and safety needs. Yeah, so you know, when we come to work, we want to have fun. We're very serious. We pay, make sure we pay attention to what we're doing, but it's always fun to kind of play jokes on each other. It helps morale, makes everybody have a good time. What's your college? <laughs> Step one in operation getting them back. We have a, a tank that we put air in sometimes to set a bead on tires because we have to kind of expand the tire a little bit. So we uh, played a little prank on Rich. Being that he does decide to want to go into the bathroom like clockwork, we filled it up and waited for him to open the door. He got blasted with 65 pounds of PSI in the belly. Well, I didn't know we were doing all that this week. All right. Hello? Lee. Yes, sir. Hey, Tom and Martin. What's up, man? Not much, sir. How are you doing today? Doing well, doing well. What you, what you got for me so far? How are we doing? We're doing great. We're about to be uh, through with this buck truck. I think you're going to be, I, in fact, I know you're going to be very impressed with the way it looks when you get here. I think it's going to be a little bit more than what you're expecting. All right, all right. Well, uh, I mean, I need that thing pretty quick. I mean, I've got a job to do. Honestly, I'm tired of riding around my wife's SUV. It feels like my butt's dragging the ground, and uh, I, I just can't handle it no more. I understand the pain. I've been there before, so we're uh, we're going. We should be finished up with it this afternoon, and we're going to get it detailed for you. So when you pick it up, all you need to do is get in it and drive home. All right, buddy. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, See you soon. All right. Bye bye. All right. Bye. good yeah looks good thanks guys over the years that I've been doing this I have dealt with quite a quite a few different uh, lift kit products accessory products the products that truck hero sent us I have found all their all their parts are very well constructed the instructions very detailed and uh, very very easy to follow from, from an installer standpoint
found Tombow's secret stash of trail mix. We really enjoyed this whole week of building the truck. It's given us an idea to actually see what our render has looked like on paper, now on metal. We can actually see it, we can touch it, we can step back and say, okay, let's change this, let's do this. So it's been a great week to work with my team here at Rock, who I couldn't do without, to step back, look at the trucks, get our hands dirty, and make sure that when we start building these trucks for dealerships, it's exactly what the customers want. All right, fellas, we had a great week. Um, we just got through finishing up Tombo's truck, and he just got here. So uh, let's go get him and show him what the final product of the buck truck. Holy crap. <laughs> Woo! Daggum. <laughs> Dude, you freaking nailed it, man. You guys are awesome. Oh, I love it, bro. Holy crap. Mmm. I'm so glad. I remember you talked me into this. I'm so, that is amazing. Color matched. Yeah. It just, it just blends so well. Super excited. Yeah. <laughs> You're just full of surprises. You know how bad I've been wanting a set of these? But I mean, forget this right here is just too, that's just over the top, bro. I mean, you put a whole new emphasis on pimp my ride. That's right. We rock it out. gum, dude. That is sick. Man, when I walked into that shop and, and saw the truck, I mean, obviously I knew what the truck looked like before and it, it was completely a different vehicle. You know, gosh dang, dude. <laughs> That's, that is phenomenal. This is what a truck, this is what a truck should look like. Right. Like all of them should look like this. Yeah. Not, you know, none of this. No. You know, what do you call that? The, the Carolina squat. And we don't do that here. But yeah. So we got a six inch super lift on it. Uh, we went with the Toyo Open Country RT. Can't go wrong. Great tire. Uh, the fuel assault, 20 by 10. Husky liner floor liners. Bushwhacker fender flares, front and rear Fab Fours bumper with rigid lights in the front bumper, uh, 10,000 pound synthetic line rugged ridge winch, amp steps, truck seat of uh, tonneau cover, cat skin custom leather, and a BMW tow and stow hitch. Yeah, good night, dude. Couldn't wait to get in it, couldn't wait to drive it, show it all. I mean, you know, you're gonna get, it's a head turner. You're gonna get looks with this truck, and that's, you know, and being comfortable and, being proud of the vehicle you got, that's what it's all about. Hey guys, it's Luke here and just got my GMC back from Rock and uh, Truck Hero hooked us up with all the gear. Got the uh, Buck Commander logo on the retractable steps. Got a six inch lift and we got a Fab Four bumper with a rugged ridge winch on it. Got the Bushwhacker fender flares and obviously the Buck Commander logo. Got a Retrax remote control bed cover. Keep all my stuff dry because I always leave my stuff in the back. Open. Hello. Good stuff. Thank you Rock Concepts and Truck Hero. Love the truck. Looks great and uh, thanks for Looking after all of us Buck Commander guys. Don't give Tyler Farr all this, please. <laughs>